Hey, Sam here back with another build. Today I'm building the Dymium 65 by Ordinary Labs. It's a 65% aluminium kit priced at 349 US dollars and it has a really cool feature that I will cover later. The box it comes in is really nice and there's four more smaller boxes inside. The first one contains the accessories. There's a really nice cable included. It's a type C to type A cable with Ordinary Labs branding on the connectors and I really like it because the cables are quite thick and it reminds me of XLR cables. In the smaller box here, there's the badge and rubber feet included, some screws for the daughter board and weight, the knob and the gasket pads for the plate. The second box contains the PCB and the daughter board. They both come packed in anti-static bags. So the PCB here is black in color, has flex cuts and is 5 pin hot swap with a south facing layout. And it also has a knob on the top right as usual. On the back of the PCB, I can see that it's branded with the Ordinary Labs logo and name of the keyboard here. The hot shot sockets they are using on this PCB are Kel. The plate and foam comes in the third box. There's one aluminium plate for a more firm typing experience. One polycarbonate plate for a more softer and flexible typing experience. And there's three foam mods included to help dampen the sound. So there's one plate foam one switch pad, and one thick piece of case foam. The last box is quite heavy because it contains the aluminium case and brass weight inside. Here I have the silver version and it looks pretty good especially with that sandblasted weight with their logo on the back. The top frame here has an indent for the badge, the dividers for the keys here and a cutout for the rotary encoder. The placement for the Type-C port is in the middle. Here is the side profile of the keyboard and the typing angle is around 7 degrees which is just right in my opinion. Now this is what I love about this Dymium 65 case. The top and bottom pieces are held together with really strong magnets so you don't need a screwdriver to open and close it up. There's 12 magnets here, 6 on the bottom case and 6 on the top. It does take quite a lot of force to open it up so you don't have to worry about accidentally opening it up by bumping into it. Besides that, I also really like the finish on this aluminium case and the sandblasted weight. Speaking about the weight, the case itself is right under 1.5 kilograms or 3.25 pounds so it is quite heavy for just the case itself. So starting off the build, I will be installing the stabilizers first. I'll be using the Durong V2 screw-in stabilizers that have previously been wholly modded. And just a small reminder, always remember to place the switch pad on the PCB first before installing the stabilizers. After that, the plate form can be layered on top of the PCB and the plate can be installed. I personally prefer a softer typing experience so I will be using the polycarbonate plate. The next thing to install is the switches. For this build, I will be trying out the Linear Wisteria switches by Apple Maker. They come factory loop and have 30 pieces in a box. This switch actuates at 45 grams and has an extra long spring inside at 20.4 millimeters. Alright, with the switches in, it's time for the gasket pads. The pads are really soft and you need 12 in total all around the plate. These silicone pads just slip onto the protruding bits on the plate like this and it's really easy to install. With the plate and PCB sandwich done, I can place it aside and move on to the case. For the case, there's 4 indents on the bottom for the rubber feet, so 1 feet in each of these indents. I always like to use a tweezer for these smaller bits because I have bigger fingers and it's annoying to handle these small pieces. The daughter board is simple to install as well, you just need to use the small screws included. The daughter board will sit here and be held in place securely with 2 screws only. The last thing to install in the case is just the foam and that's really straightforward, you just place it here. Now the daughter board can be connected to the PCB through this connector and the gaskets around the plate all slot into the cutouts provided. 
Once everything is secure, I just have to place the top frame on and install the finishing touches. So that small little badge goes here and the knob is basically just installed at the encoder. As for the keycaps, I wanted something that would fit the bright silver case here. So I went with this bright green double shot ABS keycaps from iFay. These keycaps are cherry profile and I do kind of like the bright green here but I'm not sure if it will fit the silver case. Honestly, after installing the keycaps, I kind of like the end result, it does kind of fit and the green really pops from the case in my opinion. Here is what it looks like with the RGB on. I would say that the polycarbonate plate does allow the RGB to shine through more when compared to the aluminium plate. The Dimium 65 is also compatible with VIA so you can configure the RGB more in the software. Once you plug it in, it will be detected automatically and all the layers, keys and knob can be customized here. So that was the Dimium 65 build, now let's hear how it sounds. Alright, here are my final thoughts on the Dimium 65 by Ordinary Labs. It's honestly really similar to most 65% in the market but I really like that magnetic case feature. This just makes the assembly and disassembly so much easier. The only downside I would say is the price at 349 US dollars, it is pretty expensive and I would have expected it to have wireless functionality with that higher price. But overall as a first keyboard for a company I think it's a big step in the right direction. And that wraps it up for this build and review video. If you are interested in the Dimium 65 or anything I used in the video video it will all be linked in the description below for you and remember to leave a like on this video if you liked it dislike this video if you didn't like it and remember to subscribe if you haven't i have more videos like this on the way as well